right, we're here with Coach Todd Witten. Coach, you come on the road and uh, pull out a victory, 41-34 to against Texas A&M Kingsville. Your thoughts on the game? Well, we're, we're one step closer to a winning season, so uh, proud of my team. These, these kids have uh, done everything we've asked. We haven't always played so well. We played as a team more tonight and uh, made a lot of plays against uh, – one of the best teams in, in the league. Uh, so I thought I was very proud to see our guys make some plays on uh, in the pass game. Uh, we were able to close it out at the end with a with some good running. Uh, so it's just a really good win for us. Get a chance to go home now for homecoming, and um, we're getting better. We're getting better, uh, not as fast as I would like, but uh, went on the road in this league. Uh, down here in Kingsville is, is a big deal. Definitely. Uh, you snapped a two-game skid here in a tough environment on national television. Was this a statement game to sh show that you're not done yet and out of it that you can still compete? Well, uh, yeah, we've been working hard. So, we're we, yeah, we're five and three. We're going to try to go make it six this week. So, uh, we've been we've been scrapping along. We've been kind of feisty all year. So, uh, I, I don't think we're ever an easy out but for anybody. Yeah. And final question. Last week we talked about your seniors need to step up to get your team back on a winning track. Talk about how they performed, especially Zed and Basil. Yeah, and, uh, just Thomas. great great leadership about all those guys. Wasn't perfect, but – We've got a lot of really good kids, and, and we have fought hard all year long. Uh, we've won some close games, uh, just battled, and, and uh, it's been a difficult season in a lot of ways, a lot of tough travel. So um, uh, just I feel very blessed, um, very thankful for every one of these kids that I have the opportunity to coach, and so it's a good win for us. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Went right through the hands of the defender and into the hands of a Texan. It's a touchdown. Tarleton, Texan, Cornelius Carrington makes the reception past the defender. Are you kidding and a Texan. King, he'll throw it back across the middle of the gate throw. Did he catch touchdown. it? It's a touchdown. Tarleton, Texans, Jacob Kaspar with his second touchdown of the season. And the Texans up 13 to 7 with the extra point upcoming. That's in and out of the hands of number 89, Aaron Dilworth. Complete to number 13, Don Michael Hughes. Yards throwing left, going deep. Thomas touchdown. in the end zone. Touchdown, Tarleton Texans. A fade route, and Thomas beats them deep for the score 23 to 17 with the extra point up coming. <laughs> the shotgun looking left looking left throws the fade Curvin up makes the catch touchdown Tarleton Texans as they extend the lead with the extra point upcoming
Kyle Sack. Come on, McCants at the 23. Taken and they'll give it to McCant. Spins around, makes wow. a man miss. Pass wow. the 15. He's going to go Ooh. into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Tarleton, Texan, a huge play with just under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter as they extend the lead. Thank <laughs> you. 